Okay guys, this is one of those videos where I'm just showing you some of the features that are within uh, the Rumi Q Wizard. And this is one of those that I found particularly useful lately. Uh, I did the video on the SVS uh, isolation system. And, you know, it's for subwoofers. It's the, it replaces the stock uh, feet that come on your subs. You just go ahead and replace those with the subwoofer isolation system. And it really allows them to, to move around and decouples them from, from the floor. And if you've got a wood floor, it's very handy. If you've got like a concrete floor, maybe you won't see as much benefit. Uh, but what I did uh, in order to test the difference, because just taking a room measurement wasn't really as telling as hearing it myself. And so I was trying to figure out, well, how can I demonstrate this in, in such a way that you know, you can really see that there's really a difference. So I went to the SPL meter, all right? Now, so the SPL meter's right here, all right? Now, so you go over here and you hit record. And that's recording everything. And I always set this as C-weighted. Um, that's what you wanna do when you're trying to, you know, measure base. Uh, C-weighted is just the way to go. But uh, as you can see, it it's, measuring the loudness in here. So if I speak louder, it goes up higher, okay? So now the other thing you can do here is go down to the logger. Now you go over here and you hit record and it starts recording the actual level of volume in the room. So as I yell into the mic, it goes up, okay? So it actually measures how loud stuff is in the room. So it's measuring my voice. It's measuring the peak decibel level in the room from whatever source, whether it's bass, whether it's treble. Uh, so what I did with this is I measured uh, a particular song. I don't remember exactly. I think it was Antidote. Um, anyway, I measured it uh, with the uh, subs flat on the floor, and then I measured it with this uh, with the actual subwoofer isolation system from SVS and I just measured the two differences and you could clearly see that the sound that was coming out and being measured by this right here was louder um, by uh, you know a half a dB to almost a full dB louder now that has mostly to do with the fact that my floors are wood and again if you stomp on the ground you can actually get something out of it. Now, if you did that with a cement or concrete floor, you're not gonna get much sound out of that. You're just gonna hurt your foot. <laughs> it doesn't feel good when I stomp my foot anyway, but uh, you know, so with the isolation system, uh, it, it stops it from going into the floor and you actually get a little bit more uh, output out of it. And it sounds cleaner. Um, now. The difference in sound for, for a concrete floor, I, I wouldn't be able to tell you. But what this did is I had some people doubting what I was saying. This allowed me to show them, no, there was actually a difference. And it's repeatable. You know, if you've got a wood floor and you try the isolation system, you can measure it and then you can measure it afterwards and you can actually see the difference on a particular passage of a song. And so I put it on a song that I knew was a hard hitting song and recorded it. And it was able to actually give me the differences. So this is a handy feature for someone like me, um, but you can kind of go through, you can play a movie passage if you want and find out how hard that movie passage hits. Uh, there's all kinds of things you can do with it. I don't even know. I haven't even discovered all the things I can do with this program. But this, uh, this SPL logger has come in handy for, for what I was talking about. But uh, anyway, that's just the, the, the feature on that. Uh, again, this is all just real basic stuff. There's a lot more to learn on this, but uh, this is just some stuff I'm aware of. Uh, so hopefully this helps, guys, and uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe.